it is just blah right now. We Tennessee has just been on a mean streak right now with rain and heat and all of the above and just and even this. Like this is too much. That is way better. Way better. That was long overdue. Macy, now I know how you feel with all that hair. Okay, so I mean it's gonna take a minute to get used to this. But that's alright. So interesting day today. We have Little cousin's birthday party. I'm still, this is gonna bug me. I'm gonna keep looking at the screen. Okay, little cousin's birthday party. He's turning two. Does anybody know what Blippi is? If y'all have little kids, you know what Blippi is? Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. Yeah, so that's Blippi, right? And I've been sitting here watching, um, Blippi. I've been watching Blippi videos. I have my own opinions and thoughts on Blippi. I'm, not even gonna go there. But, I can't. Okay, this is gonna be fun. This is, it's gonna be fun, but weird at the same time. I don't know, but we're gonna film it. Cause I'm gonna entertain y'all. Y'all are gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna embarrass myself at my own expense for children and your entertainment. Then we're gonna go somewhere later that's gonna be the complete opposite, which is why this video is very interesting. Cause it's gonna be two polar opposites involving Children, basically. Honey, how do you feel about role play? I'm not a huge fan of that, but you know. No? Not even if it's kids entertainment? I mean, if I was making a lot of money, maybe. <laughs> $75 million? It's a lot of money. Whew. It's a little toasty out here. A little toasty to put a long sleeve shirt on. It's for the kids, though. Thank God you're being the house. It's for the kids. I swear, every one of these kids' birthdays, they go all out for. It is showtime, okay? This is, some of y'all wonder what I do for a living. This is not it, but it may. What do you think, Babs? Should this become like a? I mean, if we make decent money, I'm game for it. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. Why don't you tell them what you're doing? They're gonna know what I'm doing. I don't, don't know if all your followers will know exactly. Oh, they'll know. Who this like, is. Like, I already showed it a little bit. Okay. On just a video. Does he tuck his shirt in? Oh, he has he to. He tucks his shirt in. Yeah. Make sure you tuck your pocket in. Alright. Just straighten your bow tie out. Like that? There you go. Fine. Main, main part. Ready? I think so. Do I look like, do I look like Blippi right now? Mm. All right. Is this Blippi? Am I like good? Okay. Cat, what do you think? Am I Blippi? Jeffrey! Who do you have, buddy? Do you have Blippi? You disgust me. How 
can you live with yourself? With my glasses and my hat and my bow tie. Well, that was a fun birthday party as usual. I don't know where the blippy guy went. I really wanted to meet that blippy guy. He looked like he was full of energy and just a great guy to be around. I don't know where he went. I saw you were pretty fond of that blippy guy. You're getting, blippy a, little, you're getting a little close. He was good entertainment. Huh. Huh. Oh, fun time. Okay, so we're gonna switch, switch gears a little bit now. We're not showing up. There's an event we're gonna go to. And, it's happening in Blunt County, um, which a lot of people are caught off guard by. I'm not as caught off guard or surprised because you slowly see this happening across Tennessee because it's the exact same thing that happened in California. And it slowly starts to creep in like this. It kind of takes over the community and then starts to take over, you know, portions of the state and then the state kind of goes from there. So, um, like I said, we're going to be a little late to it. I'm missing the main part that we wanted to be at at four, um, but I still wanna go see this event and kinda of document this event just to see what it's all about. Um, again, I'll explain more later, but um, yeah, let's head into town. All right, so we're downtown Maryville for Blunt Pride. Blunt Pride is an event that's going on in the, in the city park. It's lasted 2019, had over 500 people postponed because of COVID. We'll see what it's about right now. So, we had, the kids wanted to have a bonfire last night. It was the dumbest thing ever. Hotter than sin out here, and then it starts raining, and the wood's all wet, you can't light any, I don't know. Bonfire, bonfire time is coming, it's still just a month or two away. So to follow up on that event, lots, lots of different observations and thoughts there. We've got, We've got gay cousins. We have plenty of gay friends. I have gay followers and subscribers that I, I, I talk with often. When we went to Seattle, I posted some stuff on Instagram um, from, from, it was Pride Month while we were there and they had their you know big pride parade and stuff. There are a couple of videos like I shared that just didn't agree with, right? Um, I feel like, I feel like the gay conversation is well, well beyond us. 
like it's accepted um you know there there is there's inclusion um but where the line starts to get drawn for me and it's not so much on on the people at the event right um like that that event i have nothing against it you want to do you you good i change the channel that's it right just like someone that comes on here if you don't agree with something i say or something i do you know that's great change the channel like you're you're more than welcome to go i get it not everyone's going to be the same not everyone's going to like you not everyone's going to agree with you but i have a pretty open mind and i don't i went to that i said babs let's go let's go see what it's all about right because it, it was interesting for me to be for to have that kind of event happening downtown Maryville. very heavy conservative red area right and they have the area blocked off completely gated in you can only get in through the one like little registration booth where you just go to get a wristband really but they have all areas of that park closed off and heavy police presence at every gate and um so many hundred yards it looked like i guess anticipation of someone were people were to come in there and ruin it and crash it um i would never go in there and ruin it and crash it but obviously like like that i'm going to go to it it's a it's in a public park I have a right as just as much as anyone to go see what's going on there. And you know what you want? I mean, you want to dress up. You want to be a dude and you want to dress up as a woman and dance around and and do that. That's you. Like, that's fine. Like, I'm not even going to get into that part. And I think what's funny, too, is like, especially now, is you'll get people that, oh, he's a bigot. He's he's discriminates. He's the, like... Those words have zero value anymore. There's no depth to any of these words. Racist, bigotry, any of this stuff. There is no depth to it anymore. So when you call someone that, you're name calling people, that's your last resort is when you name call people. That's when those people know that they've won. Because if your best defense is coming back and calling someone a bigot or a racist or, or something like that, like no, those words have zero value anymore. Like they do not mean what they meant 10, 20 years ago when the, they actually had meaning behind them. The problem I have is with the parents that bring their children and put them front and center. Now, the, the part that I wanted to get there for, which I had my, my prior commitment to, which was a little more important, um, they had Drag Queen Storybook Session uh, where they said they read that, that book. Um, it's like a little, little mermaid type book. I'm going to see if I can drop it right here. It'll be that book. Um, that's what I wanted to go see, just to kind of see what that was all about, because, I don't know, uh, kids don't belong at that kind of stuff. Um, and then when the drag drag show went on, you know, and you have dudes dressed up as women's with their packages tucked in, and they're sitting there thrusting it and twerking and dancing provocatively in front of children, I'm a parent, I've got two, two girls, um... I've been around nieces and nephews. I've been around all the cousins. As a parent, I have a very good read of body language with a child. When a child does not want to do something, and you can tell as a parent you're forcing them to do something or to be a part of something and they're not engaging in something and having fun and, and enjoying being there. And that was my read. Um, because there was a whole group of little kids that were in the back playing with bubbles and just running through the rainbow thing, not even a care in the world, playing by the water. They didn't care about the event going on, but you had about half a dozen or so kids that were sitting there with their parents front and center to the show that was going on, and they just had that body language that you could tell. And it, was, it was very uncomfortable as a parent watching that. You're not doing your child any, any favors. You're not teaching them inclusion. You're not teaching them about acceptance and stuff. Um, much like in Seattle, when it was a parade, Full of naked people pedaling in a circle in front of children that are at the parade which I get parents probably went with the best intention like hey I'm gonna bring my child to expose them to this community and this kind of lifestyle and stuff you know and have them be open and accepting when a naked man rides a bike in front of my child I don't care I don't care if you're gay I don't care if you're straight I don't care if you're white if you're black if I don't care what you are you ride, a, you ride naked in front of my child on a bicycle and put your private parts in front of them, you get knocked out. You get knocked out by me, regardless. I don't care who it is. That's not right. And this is where the line has been skewed, is it's no more about inclusion and acceptance. This is just 
there's a weird line that that's breaking off now and it's it's disgusting I just don't get the parents that are are putting their children in that position I don't know it's just that's why we wanted to go we wanted to go to the event and see what it was all about I thought overall the event was very looking at it it was very respectful and I thought it was cool it was cool for the com that community to have their little party and stuff and, and do their thing that's great like I said it it's not my cup of tea that's fine I changed the channel I go away but I wanted to see what it was about because I had heard two different sides of the story the Daily Times the local newspaper which is very heavy left and liberal and you know s stroke this as a very family friendly event and stuff like I don't take my family to that I don't take my little nieces and nephews to that. They don't need to see that. Not at all. And that's why I wanted to go see from my own my own eyes and my own judgment and decision rather than reading a headline or reading some clickbait news article. I always like to go see for myself what it's all about. Because that's the best way that I start to understand the community, understand these certain things that are going on, right? Uh, it's very similar to to what goes on in school. Babs was just talking to our cousin the other day. She said, the best way that you can find out what's going on in your kid's classroom is your TA. Babs was fortunate enough to be a TA. She did copies and stuff, helped the teacher whenever she needed it. It was maybe an hour hour or so each uh, each week. And she saw what went on in the room here and there. You know, you wanna be a part of it. We've all taken our foot off, off the gas. That's the problem with this entire situation of everything that's going astray right now that we have a problem with that's getting away from traditional conservative values. That's the problem we have right now is because we took our foot off the gas. And parents think that school is just daycare now. The teacher's gonna teach, the teacher's gonna do the homework, they're gonna teach them that. I'm so busy, when my kids get home, I don't have time to sit down at the table, I don't have time to cook dinner, I don't have time, I don't have, you need to have time for your kids. You need to have time for your kids if you care. And that's the problem us as parents is we get so distracted and just take our foot off and just think someone else is going to do it for us. It goes with the whole tone. Like everyone thinks the government's going to do something for you now. You know, everyone, someone else is always going to take care of it. No one is going to take care of it unless you start doing it yourself and taking responsibility and accountability. So that's why we went to the event. We want to check it out. It's, it sucks. Like it, it, it's a bummer seeing parents, you know, put their kids into that position, especially when you can read body language. That's not cool, but... That is it. Like I said, it was two totally different, like, versions of a day. I don't know. Again, it's my own opinion. I don't care. If you don't like it, change the channel, like I said. But that's, uh, that's why we moved to Tennessee. That's why we live in our county that we live in. That's why uh, we have conservative values. We love this area for what it is, and that's why I go and see what is going on like this, and I have a problem with stuff like that. Um, you know? So, anyways, that is it. From East Tennessee, we're going to start to get some weather here. I just heard thunder, so I'm going to go inside and wrap this up. But I appreciate y'all being here. That was a big lightning strike. Wow. All right, time to go. That's it from East Tennessee, y'all. Get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And this is ticket. Talking miles for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma.